But when he writes about the Missouri River, he says the Missouri River says what I cannot say for myself. The Missouri River speaks for me. The Missouri River prays. And he calls the Missouri River his big brother. So we have a long tradition of people who love this state. And also, um, I've been really engaged in the Keystone XL Putnam fight. Thank you. And one of the things that's been real interesting about that is, I mean, I'm a long-term environmentalist. I'm kind of an urban progressive. But when we got involved in this fight, a few people who are in this room tonight who are urban progressives for the most part, the biggest surprise we had was our first allies were farmers and ranchers because they understood land and they understood water. And another ally that joined us up very early were Navy because they see the land as sacred and they see their responsibility as protected. And I don't know if you've heard about this, but, but we now have the CIA and Cowboy and Indian Alliance. And we have a tremendous energy right now connecting um, ranchers and farmers and Native Americans to this desire to stop. So, one time I was in New York City, I was speaking at the, the downtown YMCA, or 97th Street Y, and I told this woman I was from Nebraska, the host of the event, and she goes, well, have you ever considered me? That was her response. <laughs> Nebraska is a peripheral place, it's a flyover state. And uh, I couldn't quite figure out how to tell her Probably what this woman was, was telling you, which is if you grow up in a place and you live there all your life, and the people you love when you arrive from that place, that place becomes your identity. And to be away from that place, you know, this happened to the natives when they were taken away from their place and died. And I think that's what it means to have a place that you really can't imagine. Now, I'm going to switch this to time. And you wrote about the different 